Hey guys, Jamie here from Pine Tree Line and today we're doing a review on the Blackstone 36 inch griddle. I've been cooking with Blackstone for a few years now. Uh, I actually have a 17 inch griddle that I've taken literally all over Ontario and in some parts of the US as well. We have a playlist of Blackstone videos that we have done on a 17 inch. It's a portable griddle that we've taken pretty much everywhere. I upgraded to the 36 inch and I do overall like the Blackstone product and how it cooks the extra space that you have with the 36 inch griddle cooktop. It's great because you have four burners rather than the one that I had with the 17 inch. And the nice thing too is that you can actually have different zones going. I can actually turn on each end and they have separate igniters. I don't have to turn on all of them or one. Unfortunately, some parts of the griddle are weak and flimsy. Now, the side of the propane tank has on, I got a handle that I can lift from, but there's not one on the other side, which I think is a, a major flaw in my eyes. If I go to grab it on this side, I can't. Well, why would you make a handle for one side, but not the other? If you're, you're not moving this around very easily by yourself, so if you have to lift it up, and you're doing it on different levels, you do want to handle on each side. Also, this paper towel rack. I've used it, and when you're outside and it's not the nicest day out today, the paper towel will actually roll out itself. It's very flimsy and it's in a bad area. If I'm cooking, I'm not reaching down to grab the paper towel. I find that there is a major flaw as well. I find the legs are very flimsy as well. And you can see, because this griddle is actually really top heavy, the, the rolled steel is heavy. I would have liked to have seen a little beefier leg on it so it's not so flimsy when you're moving it. The brake's nice to have on one side. Yeah, you don't really don't need it to be br the brakes on both sides. The, the one side's fine. Um, it's nice that you can put your propane tank on either side though. Like if I wanted to remove the propane tank, the bracket, I could put it on the other side as well. The magnetic strip up here for utensils, it works well. It's got some hooks on the end, which is nice. You can put your utensils over here. It's got hooks on the other side as well. Perhaps the biggest flaw on the Blackstone 36 inch is this grease tray. So this is the sitting position for the lid. And I find a little bit of a flaw is that when you go to lift it up, the grease tray, it's in a really bad position because I actually lifted up the lid and I caught the corner of the grease tray as I was putting it on and it flipped over and it landed on me. So in my eyes, I don't know why they would have put the grease tray here. The grease tray should actually be sitting underneath the black stone and not on the edge. So if anybody has this, be careful of that because I don't want to see anybody out there get burnt. There's an insert that goes in here. It's an aluminum little tray that you can buy off Amazon and they sit in here. But after that incident, because the tray sits over the edge by a little bit, the lid caught it. I don't actually put them inside there anymore. I just leave the tray the way it is and then I just clean it out afterwards. I find it's much safer that way. All in all, it is a great griddle. I love the Blackstone products. I've used them for quite a few years now. It is nice because of the cooking area, yes, but I do find the way that they put it together a little bit flimsy in certain areas. The knobs that it has in the front, I find it's really nice that they're easy to grab. They're a nice, great big. They're easy to lock in and lock off. The igniter, it's in a good area. Uh, it's a good looking griddle. The Blackstone 36 is the lid is not cumbersome at all. It's lightweight when you're standing behind it and you are taking the lid off and putting it back on. It is very light and it's easy to handle. The actual tables on either side and underneath for storage is great because you, if you come out here and you got a lot of cooking uh, products, spices, um, food, plates, it's nice because you have either side tables and you got space underneath for storage as well. I just wish the tables on each end were a little sturdier than they are. They are flimsy and if you put any weight on them at all, because it's a locking and they come down, but if I was to put weight on one corner or the other, they are flimsy. The Blackstone 36, if you're going to leave it in one spot, that's what I would recommend because this unit is not made to be pulled around in different areas. Keep it in one spot when you're cooking. And a lot of the deficiencies that it has, but because it's not the strongest griddle around, that you won't notice it as much because you're not moving it around. 
personally myself i've moved it around a few times and that's when i did notice it but you wouldn't notice it if you kept it in one spot while you're cooking and that's what i would recommend uh, i've been cooking with blackstone for quite a few years now this is a great product it's a home use product it's not portable just keep it where you want to be cooking and you'll have no issues and many years of great blackstone cooking thanks for watching the 36 inch griddle review guys check our youtube channel we got lots of great videos on our blackstone cooking don't forget to subscribe push notification bell and give us a thumbs up thanks see you next time